Hey folks, Jenner Margriffin here, looking at the Siam Mods Cardo Punch um, from the makers of the Cube and some of the uh, uh, fancy metal, you can find one, uh, drip tips we've been getting lately. I got this from CloudsOfVapor.com, who also carries those drip tips. Some of the other vendors that have like have been carrying the SigTex, uh, Sig and I think some other vendors have been carrying the drip tips, may also get this. It's about $15. Um, it's significantly smaller and easier to cart around. So let's take a look at the Cardo Punch and how it works. So you've all seen me play with my Cardo Punchers before. Uh, the one from Clouds of Vapor and the one I got at VaporCon. Um, big blocks of metal. Now what I usually do is I take the Cardo and I measure from the bottom of the tank, bottom of the Cardo, and then I put a mark where I need the hole in the Cardo to be. And then you stick them in the cardo, get them to the right place so that the screw is going to pierce the dot. Now the problem is, is that those don't work with the smoke tech cardos that are made for their DCT tanks with the little ledge. Because they have that little extending bit of metal on the bottom. And those don't work in these kind of cardos because you have to put them in connector end first. So that strip of metal on the bottom keeps them from coming in. They're also kind of big. So in comes Siam Mods, makers of the cube and a whole bunch of the nice pretty metal uh, drip tips that we've been seeing. And they have this simple metal ring with a uh, screw on one end and a nice squeegee holder on the other. And then that is the hole that will make, that is the point that will make the hole in your cardo. So you get it out, you put the cardo in. You know, the only trick with this is trying to line up where that marker is kind of, you know, in the center of your metal here. And then holding it down and spinning the screw. Now the other thing is, is I didn't hear it break the metal. Usually on those other cardo punches, when I get to the point that it's break through the metal, I hear sort of a pop. And then I know it's time to unscrew it, but it looked like that was enough. Take it out a little more like the best. And I was pretty close to where I made the mark and it did indeed puncture the hole. Now it does change the shape of the metal a little bit. Most of the cardo punches do, uh, but not enough that it still won't get a nice seal on the O-ring, you know, underneath that closer to the connector. So that is the little cyan puncher and again the only real drawback for me is that you know on these metal blocks when i put the cardo in i can see specifically i can line the dot up with that point perfectly and get it exactly on my marker with this it's a little more guesswork to get the cardo in exactly the right place um, but you make up for it in the fact that it can work with the smoke tech ones with the flange on the end the ledge, um, and it's a much more compact thing to bring along in your kit. So that's the Siam Mods Cardo Punch. Significantly cheaper than a lot of the other products that have been on the market, and also significantly smaller. This is going to be much easier to fit in your little e-cig out day kit, should you need to punch a cardamizer while you're out. It takes up less space, it is less expensive. Those big block ones I have were like $40, $45. Um, 15 bucks um, and it's going to be a must if you have uh, some of those why can't I find them oh the DCT tank that has the uh, card with the ledge on it on the bottom to fit into that little ring there those aren't going to fit in those block ones because you have to put it in connector end first and it's got that little ledge on it and it won't fit but you can feed these through top first and get it to the point where you need to drill the hole and it'll work perfectly. So, Siam Mods Carter Punch, handy little tool.